Few things are more exciting to a Japanese music fan than the words new scandal release. And I, like so many, have been waiting for the major release of Line of Sight. And so why is my review several days late? Well, because I was basically ill and laboring through the premiere like, <gasps> scandal. <sighs> but anyway, I'm kind of a bit better now. So I'm here to give you my review. Let's unpack this new song. Hi there and welcome back to Japan where we're going to be talking about Line of Sight by Scandal. Now I am saying it's a new song, as many of you will know. It did kind of come out as a radio version that people had heard and been bouncing around for a couple of months before. This was a little bit of a slowly eked out release, but we got the final major release a couple of days ago with a music video, everything. So that's what we're here to talk about right now. And I'm going to start really by just... If anything, I usually do the conclusion at the end, but I want to start with the conclusion and then sort of get into the details afterwards this time. So, well, it has to be said that one of the benefits of being ill and having to delay a, a couple of days before releasing a review is that I have even more time to listen to the song. And you know what? It's just more and more become evident to me that this song is kind of as it sounds in its first impression, very, very just catchy, infectious fun. It is that quintessential scandal doing scandal kind of thing. It is them just rocking, doing a sort of, I, I don't want to cheapen it by saying punk, pop, but it's kind of got elements of that charging punk to it. It's got the rock element of being able to really headbang, and it's got the fun of a pop song, which is obviously designed to be enjoyed by, you know, more than just your headbanging crowd. It's the sort of song that you could play to someone who's not usually into music and still have them enjoy it, rather than if you played them like screamo metal and they'd go, what the hell is this? No, Scandal is both accessible and interesting. It's fun, but it's also detailed. And so this does get all of those quintessential Scandal properties Right, it is a great comeback. I know that a lot of people after Mirror were thinking, well, this is a very different approach. And obviously that itself was written during the whole COVID period for the best part, as far as I'm aware. Um, now, I really like the fact that every Scandal album has a different taste, a different feel. And obviously Mirror for me was very interesting. I really love the fact that it went in a different direction. But I also, like everyone else, also just wanted to make sure that we occasionally heard little anchor points to remind us that Scandal can still do that core Scandal sound. And that's what they've done here. They've come back, obviously aware of the fact that they needed to make that clear. Straight away, the first song we hear post Mirror is a song that is just really Scandal being Scandal. So, how does it do at that? Weird question, you, you'll understand. Well, to really break down what I think of this song, I'm gonna bring back that Mirror comparison again. See, the thing about Mirror as an album is that it had its better and worse songs like every album does, and especially like any album that's doing something interesting and new. And therefore, it was an album that didn't really appeal to everyone, but I think we could all agree that we were impressed by just how many ideas, how interesting that album was, how much they actually did with it. And I think even in its lower points, whatever subjectively you think that is on Mirror, we'd all say, yeah, but we just appreciate it for being such an interesting and different album. Now the problem is with a song like this, when you put it front and center, give it a music video, call it a single, make it the first thing to come out of presumably a new album that I believe is coming, and you make it one that is very much in your core sound, the problem is, is that then it is going to be compared to all the other sort of songs of a similar ilk that you've had previously. And that's kind of where Line of Sight is a little bit of a difficult one for me. Because yes, I really do enjoy it. But the minute I listen to it, the first thing it makes me want to do is listen to another Scandal song, maybe something from Hello World, which has a similar feel, but maybe works for me better. And that really is the problem with Line of Sight, is that I don't quite feel that it has as much identity as other songs of a similar feel. Now, I appreciate it, like I say, for its use of being a song that kind of keeps that core sound of what Scandal is going into 2023 and beyond. However, I don't really feel that this is, this kind of more feels like a placeholder, like a song where we go, okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's, yeah, Scandal being Scandal, it's fun, we can rock out, we can really enjoy it, but maybe in a couple of years time, it will be one that we don't listen to as much as hopefully some more interesting songs that come from this album instead. This is just kind of a hello world for whatever album is coming. Not hello world, that uh, confusing. And once again, I really enjoyed this song. I've been listening to it on repeat play pretty much since it came out a few days ago, even though, like I say, I can kind of imagine that over time, it probably won't be one that stays as one of my favorites. However, I have definitely been enjoying it, but it might be worth pointing out some details that explain why that is. Now, 
for the enjoyable parts, the things that I really like, first of all, the fact that it just has that quintessential energy. I know I kind of described it as a quintessential energy before, but that whole scandal thing in that it really charges along. A lot of this is in Tamami's bass, her ability to do a bass line that really sort of thumps, like all good musicians knowing when to step up and give it a little bit more attitude and when just to anchor everything. So this is a very anchored rocking song. And a lot of the time, there's just this nice sort of bouncing rhythm coming underneath from Tamami's bass. And the same thing can be said from the drum. Drums. Rena's really got a nice beat going on here, some good little fills, but again, knowing when to go forwards, knowing when to come back. This is just the quality of a band that has experience, who've worked together. And I think we were having a discussion in our Discord the other day that Scandal are like the longest existing female band to never have any member change. I don't know if that's true, but I certainly would believe it. And everything about just how they they work. I would say they're like a family, but I don't know families who are as functional as Scandal. They just work so well together that I kind of am not surprised when you just hear how well their music gels. Even in a song like this, you can just really hear how everything balances perfectly. And of course, then we have Mammy doing some great guitar work, which she's got a bit of room to move in this. So we do get some little bit of flexing from the guitar, but again, nothing too much. It's not there to stand in the way of you enjoying what is supposed to be an infectious and catchy song. Now, for me, the problem, therefore, is with possibly my favorite thing about Scandal, if I were to pick an individual member, I really enjoy Haruna's voice. I really love her voice. Um, I have often said that one of my favorite things about Scandal is the fact that all of the members can sing together so you get multiple voices. But ultimately, I always like the other singers, the other members singing behind Haruna because I just find Haruna's voice so distinctive, so interesting. I love it. I don't think it's used properly on this song, or at least it's kind of, she's got a very boring vocal line to work with. Um, I feel like she could have something more interesting to do, though it feels like the melody just kind of doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of follows the chord pattern for the best part. It feels like an opportunity to write a really interesting melody has kind of been overlooked here. So that's one of the things that sort of, uh, I felt was a bit sad. I really wanted to, because this is a rocking song, I really wanted to hear that Haruna voice sort of kicking through. And instead it was kind of like, it kind of felt like Haruna was just being allowed to sort of tick over. Now I don't really know who wrote the, the melody line. Totally honest, it could have been Haruna, I have no idea. Maybe it says in the um, liner notes, but I'm just saying, from my opinion, I felt like this song was one really great melody away from being like up there, like a top level rocking scandal song. And instead it just felt like a, a good scandal song because there just wasn't enough vocal melody to really get your ears into on repeat listens, which is why I think this song might end up losing some of its sparkle over time is it just doesn't have that distinctive a melody as much as everything else rocks. Now I'm just gonna add a quick aside here, cause like I said, I'm a big fan of Haruna's voice. Um, I'm kind of interested, I've heard various things talking on our Twitch streams where we always have scandal songs. Um, on our community, we've got so many great Discord, um, in our Discord got so many great scandal fans. I've heard frequently about things like Haruna's had trouble with vocal problems before in the past. I do wonder, cause in recent, we've had things like Saisho Heikikimi, which is a song I really liked off of Kiss From The Darkness. However, she was using a lot more auto-tune than I expected. You can probably hear that siren. I apologize, new apartment. Um, where she was using a lot more auto-tune than I think most people expected. More sirens, really? <laughs> Am I being criminalized for talking about this? Um, but the thing is, is that I really felt like um, maybe, is Haruna having vocal struggles? Does anyone else feel like maybe her voice is being not being allowed to be used as much anymore? Let me know. This is just me sort of spitballing an idea that just came to my mind whilst I was going through my notes on this song. Anyway, on to the next thing, the video. Now the video was a bit of a mixed bag for me. Basically, I really liked it. I did really enjoy it. I thought it was had a lot of color, a lot of contrast as well. The dark, the light, all the brightness in some places and then dark shadows in others. Some nice fluid movement, so everything felt like it was really rocking along. Um, Interestingly enough though, uh, my wonderful community who basically act as my researchers uh, told me that the director has been tied to some really cool music videos before. One of them being More Than Like by Bish, which I, in one of our, I think it was our first ever end of year awards, like years ago, I gave that the best video of the year award because I just really loved that. Um, and so visually, I think that this has that distinct impactful sort of good movement, good color, sort of good framing that we expect from this director. I just felt like this maybe felt a little bit like there was a little bit too much zooming around. I like movement, but in some places it felt like 
you know, the musicians were maybe moving just for the camera. You know, it, it didn't just look like they were just allowed to play and then the camera moved around them. But still, it worked. Um, I really thought that if one other thing, I mean, as you can see, like with the, sorry, it's over this side. With the uh, video, I always put like little clips and things in this box. And um, as you can probably tell, there was a lot of really cool images to pick from, from this song because it's just a very cool looking video. So um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, not as good as I think the other videos by this director, but still really good. So I thought I'd add that. So time for a second final conclusion. And yeah, basically, as I said, the weird thing is, is that when it comes to reviewing, um, it's weird because you, do, you really, you're there to talk about the things that you feel that could be better. Uh, that's kind of the point of reviewing. If you just go and go, everything's brilliant. It doesn't really make for a very interesting review. It doesn't make for an interesting contrast um, to, what anyone else is thinking and so there's no conversation to come from it um and the weird thing is i really like this song it's got me really hyped for whatever album comes next um it's nice to hear scandal just scandling especially after we had uh mirror being such an interesting diversion into a different sort of sound um and that's all great i really like that it's just for me i have to kind of acknowledge that i don't think this is going to be classic scandal i don't think this is going to be one of those songs that we come back to i mean they've got so many songs so many great songs i don't even think this is going to make like a greatest hits this is just kind of like a it's a nice little placeholder to let you know that scandal's back that's what i think it is it's been going around in my head i've been enjoying it it's made a great little listen but it's time for that album i'm excited for it i'm pretty sure you guys are as well so get in the comments tell me what you're thinking until i hopefully see you very soon in japan for the next one of these all your comments for now. Ciao, ciao.